John Barry here on the Rich Eisen Show. What do you think is going through Damian Lillard's mind right now? What do you think? I don't. You know, I don't know. Is it? it, it who, who's putting it out there that he's getting traded? I, I don't think it's the Blazers. Mm-hmm. They'd be absolutely foolish. This guy, he, he's one of the best players in the NBA. If he didn't play in Portland, he would be one of the bigger names in the NBA, no question. And for them to think about getting rid of him, I, I think they'd be crazy. I don't. He's been as loyal as a guy as there is in the NBA. He stuck around Portland, and they would be absolutely foolish to let him go. I think it, where where a lot of people are basing it off of his, um, you know, like we do a lot of these days, because this is the manner in which players communicate is through a Twitter account or an Instagram account. Was you know his his tweet after getting bounced in the playoffs where he's like, how long should I stay dedicated? How long till opportunity meets preparation? He's quoting Nipsey Hussle. And, you know, and, and, and a lot of people are thinking, you know, maybe the only analogy I could kind of equate it to in a way is another superstar in the Pacific Northwest and Russell Wilson, although Russell has won where he's been a championship, but where he's he's associated with this place and fans adore him and can't think of doing it without him, but he's got to sit there and think, you know, maybe there's a, things have to happen for me to actually use this window of opportunity for me to win, and mm-hmm. you know, I, I and 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 maybe Lillard seeing what's going on with Chris Paul or Devin Booker, right? Other people who are in the right situations that happen for them, all of a sudden going from 19 wins to maybe winning it all, and he's got to be sitting there thinking, how the hell? Yeah. Why can't that happen for me? Like that's maybe that's what I'm but saying. I, I think I, I think that just could be a, a, a jab to the organization. Like let let's let's do let's do something different. You know, let's change our our, our path. And we, we got we have we're not good enough is basically what he's saying. And we we've got to do something different than what we've done in the past to make us a championship contender. And look, C.J. McCollum is an unbelievable player, but I'm trading him. It's a small backcourt. They haven't won. You can get a lot for C.J. McCollum, and this is absolutely no slight on him, but I would move him to get some other pieces and try a new way of going about it, of trying to win. And so, you know, I'll play uh, fantasy basketball GM. Do you think there's any there there with uh, Ben Simmons? Right there, I mean, because uh, I, I think for sure he can't. Uh, he he's he's kind of um, not kind of. I I can't see how he stays in Philadelphia after what yeah. happened in the playoffs. What yeah, he think? might need to change his scenery. Um, he's a real enigma. Obviously, I, I I've done games where he's been the best player on the floor and dominated games. How about that? And I, I don't know. I mean, you know, Portland's a great offensive team. So could you afford to take him on where you know you're not going to get much offense? guy's an unbelievable defender uh he he can do some great things and that's where portland needs to get better defensively so maybe that makes sense i'm not sure where ben simmons fits is anybody i I just don't know i mean he's got to fit somewhere right i mean he's an all-star i mean he's been really good and he is really good uh but i think he needs to change he's got to become some sort of offensive threat i mean that's just the bottom line Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.